So glad you're with us. It's currently 15 minutes past the hour. A Topeka woman is fighting a tough battle for the second time, and she's not giving up no matter how long doctors say she'll live. KCNT News evening anchor Mackenzie Davis introduces us to tonight's Someone You Should Know. At 37 years old, Heather K. Hodges has gone through a lot in just one year. Went through the first round of traditional treatment and got all wrapped up in June. I was free of any visible disease then. At 36, she was diagnosed with cervical cancer. She thought she beat it after doctors couldn't find any traces of the disease. I was kind of on cloud nine in June. I thought for sure that I had beat cancer and from everything you know, if you, know, if you beat it the first time, then you know that's, that's the good good news when it comes back and starts spreading. That's that's the bad news. But that's what happened. The cancer wasn't gone. It traveled to another place in her body while still in the cervix. Unfortunately, it had come back in October and spread to my liver. So now it's in two, loca two locations in my body. The single mother of two faced a decision. Do chemo and radiation again or do something else? It takes a toll on your body. So I started to reach out and look and see what else I could do and found this awesome place in Nevada. Heather headed to Reno for treatment that isn't the traditional way of getting rid of cancer. Instead, the hospital focuses on alternatives. Because of this, insurance help isn't an option. So the people who love her are stepping up. And my friends got the idea of putting together this carnival and it's the perfect thing for me because I love fun and games and all of that stuff. Heather needs thousands of dollars to complete the treatment she already started to once again enjoy the things she used to do before cancer became a small but important part of her story. Cancer's kind of consumed my life for the past year but um, you know I try to get out and see some sunshine and do some stuff see some friends whenever I can. We certainly wish her the very best, and that carnival-themed fundraiser happens on March 27th. You can find more information about it and how to help Heather outside of that event on our website. And while you're there, remember, if you have someone you think we should know, you just use the Share It feature. It's a tab right at the top of KSNT.com, or you can always use our mobile app.